Using NAN Cloud well, is going to cost you over $20 every single month. But what if I told you that you can self-host NAN for just about $5, an opportunity to save well over $100 a year. Not only are you going to be able to save this money, but you can also unlock a larger selection of community nodes and get even more control over your workflows. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? Self-hosting, this sounds pretty complicated, but don't worry. In this video, I'll be taking you step by step throughout the entire process. So at the very end, you'll have NAN running on your own server. Also, big shout out to Hostinger. They reached out and were able to give me free hosting for this full walkthrough. And for viewers of this channel, they're offering an extra 10% off any of their subscriptions with code data science. I'll show you exactly where you can apply that discount code in throughout this video as we build this setup. By then, this video, we're going to be covering how to pick the right plan, spinning up the VPS, and even deploying a very simple project. So whether you're looking for better privacy, scalability, or a cheaper alternative to NAN cloud, you are in the right place. All right, let's jump on my computer right now and get you started with self-hosting. All right, guys. So before we jump into this full thing, let me show you some of the pricing. So this is as of September 4th, right? So, and I should say 2025 because people might watch this in a year or two years in the future. But regardless, on uh, the NAN website, you can see it's $20 per month if you pay annually for a starter. Uh, if you jump into Pro, it's 50 Now, if you want to pay per month, that is $60 and $24. You can see everything that has the offer. There are free trials over here. I started on a 14-day free trial, right? And, um, you know, my personal account on NAN Cloud, I'll tell you guys, it's a starter, right? I do build on other people's accounts for them when I have customers. But for, like, personal testing and YouTube video creation, starter is okay. But, you know, as you want to scale up, you know, you probably want to jump into Pro. Um so that's the pricing there. There's enterprise pricing as well. A lot more options. Now, here's the deal. You can actually get self-hosted on here, but you can see it's it's expensive. $667 per month built annually. Yikes. So what you want to do is use something like Hostinger. So you can go over here. I'll show you their website. A um, lot cheaper, right? So your different plans below over here. Uh, KVM1, which is $4.99 a month. KVM2, which is $6.99 a month. 999 for KVM4, and then KVM8 is 1999. They have different specs for every plan, right? Four gigabytes of RAM, eight, 16, 32. And you know, feel free to choose which one that you would like to start with. Now, also, if you use my code, right, you're gonna get additional 10% off over here. So you're technically not paying the screen price, you're actually paying 10% less. And to be full, fully transparent, right, like most things with hosting online, the renewal rate is gonna be a little bit different. And you can say over here, it says renews at $10 a month for two years, right? Cancel anytime. So there is going to be that information, right? And I can tell you, like, I own a, a few different websites out there. Usually, you know, the get in price is going to be a little cheaper and then they increase it over time. That's just how it is anywhere that you go. So let's say you want to start this off, right? And let's say choose plan for KVM1. So then you choose plan over here and it goes into your cart. We're gonna walk through this here in a second with you guys. Okay, so you can see you can choose your period. So again, you can choose 24 months, right? You can go here to 12 months, right? It's gonna be a little bit more expensive. If you choose one month, a little bit more expensive. I wouldn't recommend that you just do it one month. Like look at 12 or 24 months, even at, at 12 months, right? You're at 5.99, um, but lock in that rate at 24. Now. Also to show you where you want to put in your coupon code, if you go over here, right, put in data science. So data science, you click apply over here. You'll see, it saved you a little bit of money, right? So you saved actually 12 bucks if you're doing the cheapest plan. So I highly recommend you choose that code if you want. Uh, regardless, right, next thing you want to do is choose your server location. So choose the server that's closest to you, right? Um, you can see United States over here. If you're in Europe, choose that side of things, South America or Asia, right? I'm obviously in the States, so I would want to choose that. And then also just make sure that you click NAN on the side of things, right? Um, there's two NANs. Just click the one that is here by default, right? With the thumbs up. Okay. Then what you're going to do is go over here and click continue. All right. Then you're going to jump into the screen, right? So you can do Google, you can do GitHub or sign this. Let me just do a Google one, for example click continue. And then you're going to get to the screen with your billing address and stuff like that. So I've already have my account 
So I'm not going to go through this, but just fill out your information, right? Address, city, state, zip code, and then your payment details down below. Just make sure data science is over here to save you a little bit of money, and then you're going to be good to go. So once you have that, we'll move on to the next step, and I'll show you where that goes. All right. So now we have our H panel within Hostinger. And what we're going to want to do is it says your KVM2 setup isn't finished yet. Set up your service to start using it. So we're going to go over here and click setup. Okay. So first we're going to do is set up a server location. Now you want to choose the location closest to you. So I'm going to go into North America over here. Okay. Click next. Okay. And then on this side of things, what it's going to ask you for is choose an operating system. So I'm just going to go over here and type in NAN. I'm just going to go over this over here. So build 2404. Okay. And select that. And then it's going to say, choose a root password. You'll use the root password to log in to your VPS. So make sure to choose a password over here and make sure it fits all these criteria. One number, one lowercase, 12 to 50 characters, etc. Right. You can also set up an SSH key, probably outside the scope a little bit on this video. Okay. Save the password over here. They have a malware scanner for free. So you might as well just select that. And then it says setting up your VPS. This will take about five minutes. Feel free to leave this page. You'll get an email once your VPS is ready to go. So what we're going to do, I'm going to save this recording real quick and I will be back when this is ready to go. All right. So we're in now. Let's go over here to manage VPS. Sweet. And then we get this little survey. I'm just going to say personal reason on here. I'm going to say AI and machine learning. Save that. Awesome. And then you can see all of our information here on this side of things. And I'm just going to click over here to manage app. And then what you'll see is it says set up owner account. So what we're going to do is set this up all over again on this side of things, right? And what I'm going to do on this side is grab my email. So and Nolan data. Okay. So now we're going to want to do is set up our owner account. So again, set up an email, first name, last name, and a password. I want to receive security and product updates. I'm going to click next over here. And that says customize any N for you, right? Best describe your company. I don't know. We'll just click over here and say YouTube. Again, it doesn't really matter too much. Data science. There we go. Myself. Less than 20 people. How do I find out? Let's say YouTube also. Okay. And that says get paid features for free forever. So receive a free activation key for more advanced features below lifetime access, right? Workflow history, advanced debugging, execution, tagging folders. Sure. We'll send that over here. Why not? And take a look. We are now officially in NAN. So this is really awesome, right? So it says your license key is on the way. So we have that over here and we should be good to go. All right. So, and to activate this, all I did is get this email over here. It says, please find your license key to unlock select paid features, right? Click activated over here. And it says you have 14 days to activate it. Just activate it right now. And uh, there's a little notification over here that's been activated. So awesome. And it says you're on the community edition registered and we are good to go. So just go back over here and let's create our first workflow. All right. And then we get taken into this screen over here. So we're going to keep this super simple for the video. What am I do over here? Let's click first step. I'm just going to do a chat trigger. So we can say chat trigger over here. Okay. And then what we're going to do next is set up an AI agent. So we'll say AI agent over here. Awesome. And then this is just going to be based off of the chat input. Now we're going to have to set up our credentials. I'll show you how, really quick how we could do that. Uh, chat model, right? This is where we're going to be setting up our credentials at. So I'm going to say open AI. And you'll see that it says select credentials. So we're going to have to create credentials. And I have a few videos here on the channel talking about how to create credentials and such. I'm just going to create a new credential. It's super easy to get your credential on open AI. So just go to open AI like this, right? Log in. And then once we're in, we're just going to go over and get an API key. So we're just going to go over here at settings, API keys, create new key, test NAN cloud, set a project. And you can also set permissions, like how much you want to spend on your key. I'm just going to go over here and do that. 
So save that over here. Sweet, and it's been saved. Okay, great. Okay, great. And then just to stay up to date, our model is not GPT-4.1. We actually wanna set this up into GPT-5. So make sure we save that over here. And also what I do really quick is just say memory. I'm gonna do a simple memory, right? Or we'll say context five. So we just wanna open up our chat and just make sure this works. So I'm gonna click open up chat and I'm gonna say, who is the all time strikeout leader? And this should be pitcher wise. Should be Nolan Ryan. Super easy question. And you can see our workflow is running over here. And Nolan Ryan with 5,714 career strikeouts MLB. Sweet. So that is working on that side of things. So I also want to show you really quick a few other things. Number one, I want to show you community nodes as well as um, how you can update this because there are going to be updates and this is a little bit different than when you work on any end cloud. All right. So I, I closed out over here and what I'm going to do to update is we're going to go over here to browse terminal. And you'll see this over here. Now, what I'd recommend is just click clear so that you have all this space now, and you're just going to follow these commands. And there's actually an article on the website, super, super easy. So all we're going to do is pull the latest version with Docker. So we're going to go over here and say Docker compose pull. So go over here and say Docker space compose space pull. Okay. Then we're going to say Docker space compose down. And then lastly, what we're going to do once this is running two out of two, Okay, lastly, we're gonna say docker compose up dash D, right? Three lines like that. I'm a, I'll probably put in the description, but yeah, that's essentially it. Now you have all this updated on NEN and you can close this out, right? So just close that out and I'm here back in my terminal. All right, so now let me show you how to work with community nodes. So click these three dots over here and then go into settings. And then what we're gonna go and go over here and say community nodes. So it says supercharge your workflows with community nodes, install node packages contributed by your community, install a community node. So find community nodes to add on the NPM public registry. So let's look on this side of things. So here you can see there's over 1000 different community nodes that you could work with on this side of things. Now I know Tavily is really, really popular. So maybe we'll do a video like that here on the channel. But you can just keep going over here and see. Now I know also MCP is really popular as well. So maybe we want to go on that side of things. We'll use this one. So then what we're going to do is just copy this name over here. So it says copy to clipboard over here. And then I'm just going to paste in the package name over here. I understand the risk of installing unverified code from public sources. So then I'm just going to click install. And then you can see I have this community node. Now another way to install it, let me just show you that. I'm going to this workflow and one of the community nodes that has been out now is Appify. And you can see it's over here and we want to just click install node. So two different ways on that side of things. And uh, yeah, now you can says package installed and now we have Appify in here, right? And let's say I wanted to set up something with Appify, right? I just go over here to Appify and you can see we have all these different actor actions and I've already covered this here in the channel. So make sure uh, to check that out. Uh, one thing's nice is this run task and get data set. Uh, when an Appify community node was available in cloud, it did not have that, but now it does. So it's super, super nice. But yeah, that is essentially it with community nodes. So guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you want to see other NEN content, I have over a dozen videos here on the channel and I'm still trying to make two or three NEN videos every single week. I think up next, we're going to work on some MCP videos here on the channel, kind of previewed it right over here. And we have other videos coming out as well um, with Appify actors that I'm, I've been using for customers. So I feel like they need to be here on the channel. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video.